good morning everyone uh, this video is specially made for the ladies out there and if you don't know me my name is um, Dr. Mahen and I do this channel Glow with Dr. Mahen and I welcome you all for those who know me and you don't know me and thank you for watching this video so today we're going to talk about vaginismus or vaginal spasms which uh, many um, ladies experience uh, in some stage of their lives and normally they never um, reveal that this happened or this happens so um, what is vaginal spasms so in your vaginal area the muscles surrounding it are called the pelvic floor muscles and some women experience spasming a painful spasms of these muscles when they try to have intercourse or when a doctor tried to do a PV examination or a speculum examination and some women find this quite distressful and it affects their sexual relationships um, and overall their relationships because they try to avoid having a sexual relationship with their partner because they're too embarrassed to let them know or to let their doctor know that this is been happening so this is quite related to um, the ladies who are um, or the young uh, girls who are first time to go and have sex and um, also uh, for menopausal um, ladies who are closer to menopause or after menopause they tend to experience this and also for those who are quite anxious about um, the penetration of their vaginas uh, during sex or for an examination purpose they get vaginal spasms as well and these spasms are very painful and distressful for the ladies so many out there would not want to talk about this or they will not seek for help and that will lead to lots of bad consequences in their lives especially having a happy sexual relationship with your partner to have kids and also um, to go to your doctor for health concerns related to your um, uh, genital system uh, or the uh, genital urinary system some ladies may not approach a doctor even though they have a medical condition or some infection going in down below because they're so anxious about having a vaginal exam or a speculum exam and some people we may avoid getting examined for pap smears which we screen for cervical cancers because of this pain so i think ladies you need if you are experiencing something like this please go and get help out there lots of help available so one more thing if you have a genital tract infection like a sexually transmitted or non-sexually transmitted infection for an example a yeast infection or a candida infection you can still experience this vaginismus or pain during intercourse or vaginal examination by your doctor and also if you have a problem with your cervix a cancer or polyp or an infection again you will experience pain during sexual intercourse or during vaginal or speculum examination by your doctor so ladies don't keep it to yourself please get advice and help from appropriate healthcare provider your doctor if you're comfortable with them and you don't need to suffer because of this little issue and also um, there are lots of services and help out there so for vaginal examination or speculum examination if you let your doctor know that you get lots of pain during this type of examination they can use a local anesthetic gel called lidocaine to apply around the vaginal area and it will ease that pain and you will be much more comfortable during your vaginal examination and also you can use this uh, local anesthetic gel when you have sex as well because it will provide some lubrication as well as it will help to ease that pain 
The second method that you can treat this is doing pelvic floor exercises. That will help to relax your pelvic muscles as well. And the third way that you can help this problem is using vaginal dilators. Have a chat to your doctor if you have this problem and they will direct you how to use the vaginal dilators correct and what it does is stretching the vaginal muscles so it will increase the uh, width of your vagina and it will help you to have a, um, a good sexual relationship with your partner. Also it will ease the pain on your examination process through a doctor as well. And the, other, the next method is uh, the cognitive behavioral therapy, which we use uh, to treat anxiety and depression and lots of other mental health related issues. Uh, this method will identify your anxieties re regarding having sex or vaginal penetration and that will focus on your anxieties and it will teach you how to relieve your anxieties and how to get rid of your anxieties and that is a very effective method ladies you should definitely try that one as well have a chat to your doctor and the last way that you can get help is talking to a sex therapist and this has to be done with your partner together as well to get the most of it because then that person the therapist will understand what are your issues regarding your sexual relationship and will be able to help you so ladies there's help out there don't hesitate to go out and get the help. Please talk to your doctor if you have this issue. I think none of the ladies in this world should suffer vaginal spasms because it just breaks your relationships. It just breaks your uh, healthy mindset and it will provoke lots of anxiety, depression in many ladies because they try to keep it to themselves and suffer. And I hope this video is helpful for you ladies out there. And thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in another little video like this that will bring some help, some advice and some happiness in some women. See you. Bye-bye. Take care.